Breaking news now from the World Cup and in the last few minutes both England and Wales have said they won't be wearing the One Love armbands at their matches in Qatar. We can go live now to our sports correspondent Rob Harris who's in uh, Doha. So uh, Rob, bit of a back down, this bit embarrassing for the uh, English and Welsh FAs isn't it? Well, the English and Welsh FAs have really hit out at FIFA. They asked FIFA back in September if their players could wear these One Love multicoloured armbands to draw attention to the anti-LGBT laws in this country in a very subtle way, and yet they didn't hear back from them for more than two months. Only in the last couple of days did FIFA respond to them, threatening them with sanctions, not just a potential fine, but also sporting sanctions. So Harry Kane and Gareth Bale could have been booked for breaching the equipment rules by wearing these unsanctioned armbands, multicoloured, featuring one love. And the statement from the English and Welsh FAs, along with some other European FAs, say they are frustrated by FIFA's decision and they're calling it unprecedented. A real rupture here between the FAs and FIFA, the leaders of world football, just a few days after the FIFA president, Gianni Infantino, on a stage here in Doha, said he felt gay. He isn't gay. It was attempted by him to show solidarity, but there really has been a backlash to that. This is a country where same-sex relations are illegal, and it's something that put off fans from coming to this country from some groups and it's why the FA were determined to use their platform but it seems that ultimately their attempt to display their principles collided with FIFA's threats of jeopardising their progress at this tournament because it could have cost the ability of Harry Kane for England and Gareth Bale to be on the pitch if they'd been booked and say then been booked again so a battle of the armbands erupted with now, what, less than three hours until England begin their World Cup campaign against Iran-Wales in action against the United States tonight here in Qatar.